Hi, you're watching this video because you're interested in some ways that the digitizer stylus can be used with the Duo 11. So I'm going to take you through a few examples of that now. So one of the ways you can use the stylus is with your PowerPoint presentations. What's really good is if you start up a presentation, normally you just have to go to the next slide, to the next slide, and so on. But what's really neat with the stylus is, I'm just going to put this into presenter view. What's really neat is I can just use the pen tool here and then I can write over top of my slide. And that's really nice because maybe you want to point stuff out and normally you'd use animations in your PowerPoint. Now you can just use the stylus instead. But it's really good too for facilitating discussion. Maybe you need to work on some examples together or it's just something you really want to emphasize during your PowerPoint. So one of the ways the stylus is really cool is that it's a pressure sensitive stylus, which means if I want to be creative and I can use something like Fresh Paint to show you, what I can do is actually, the harder I push on this, the more paint is put onto the canvas. So it allows me to be very creative. Another nice thing is there's buttons on the side of this stylus, and they communicate with the computer as well. So if I hold down a button, I can actually erase what I've done. So it's a little bit faster because it's like a shortcut, but it doesn't allow you to stop being creative. To give you an idea of how responsive the actual stylus is, I'll just show you really quickly if I do some freeform writing. You can see it converts it to text, and then I can actually insert that into my document. Another nice way to think about it is when you're editing photos. Adobe Photoshop Elements comes pre-installed out of the box with every vial. And what I'm going to do here is actually use it to edit some photos that I've created. So maybe I want to take this photo here and actually use it with a different background. So I'm just going to use the stylus here grab my selection tool and this stylus is also palm detecting which means I can rest my hand on the computer screen and it won't interfere with the touch screen so then I can take this photo trace around what I don't need cut it out and now I've got a new photo so a very easy to use tool and it will save you a lot of time Another feature I find quite useful is using it as an annotator on PDFs. So I've got this document here that I'm going to open up using PDF Touch, which is an app free from Windows Market. And what I can do is open up something like a contract and actually draw over top of it. So this might be really good if you're somebody who needs documents signed on the go. And I can fill out the details. And then what's really neat is I'll put my name down here. I can put my signature over top and the other person as well. And then what you can do is save this as a new document. So now, when I go back and check it out, this is a working document that I can use. Very neat. On this whole PDF touch thing, I think another really cool useful way is with students, you might have something where you're reading a lot. So I can open up a document and rather than having to print it out and then highlight it, I can actually use the highlighter tool and very precisely highlight what I need. I can choose a different color for something else. And then, of course, I can also use the draw tool and maybe give myself a little reminder that this is indeed very important. Saves a lot of paper weight. Don't have to print as much stuff out. And you're still using your computer for everything. Another cool way is with homework. So if you've got homework assignments that are PDFs, you could still use this app and maybe use something like the draw tool to complete homework without having to print it out and write it out. So for example, 
on a regular computer, you would never be able to have this much accuracy or draw in such a quick way. So it's really good because then you can actually use it to select multiple answers and you can use it definitely in a new way that normally wasn't possible on a PC. Another cool way the button on the side works is if I get close to the screen and hit one of the buttons here, it actually opens up Active Clip, which is essentially a screenshot of what you want to do. So that's really neat because then quickly and easily, without holding down a bunch of keys on the keyboard, I can capture what I want. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want more tips and tricks on using the stylus, check out sony.com.au.